In today's experiment we will try to burn the queen. Of course not the real one, just a banknote. We will also make a wax explosion using a tea light. But before we get started with today's experiments, I want to point out that they are quite dangerous, so you're doing this on your own risk. Make sure you have someone with experience with you to help you, and also definitely do those outside. For today's experiment you will need some money, a candle and matches, 100 ml of ethanol and 100 ml of water. Also, if you don't want to burn your fingers, you can use some tweezers. First, you want to mix your ethanol with the water. Then you can take your money and put it into the solution. Let it sit in there for a few minutes. As we are dealing with fire, we should now take the experiment outside. We need our candle and matches, the tweezers and our money with the ethanol water mixture. Let me just point out that you should be careful with this experiment and you do this on your own risk. Don't blame me if you burn your money. So let's go outside. Not only did I fail to pull the screw tight on my tripod, it was also very windy so I couldn't get the candle to light up. However, the problems didn't end there. The matches and the candle were quite old, so I placed the candle in a bowl to protect it from the wind. However, this also didn't really help. Next, I took a big box out of cardboard and tried it as wind protection. However, this didn't really help either. Finally, I decided to do something very safe, put some ethanol into the bowl and light the whole thing inside of the cardboard box. Now, as we have a fire going, we can finally take our money and burn it. Take it out of the 50-50 ethanol water solution and hold it into the flame. You see that the ethanol is burning with a blue flame on the money, but the money stays intact. This is because of the water, which gets evaporated and is therefore cooling the banknote down, protecting it from burning away. While playing around with the money, I noticed that the wax inside of the bowl was already boiling. Well, I got a little bit carried away and decided I should show you another trick. I planned to give this trick a little video on its own, but here you have it now. You definitely do not want to try this part at home. I have a bowl with water and I take some of the water with a pipette and then drop it into the boiling wax. The water is rapidly evaporating and the steam is carrying a lot of the wax with it. This increases the surface area and quite a lot of wax can actually burn away, resulting in a huge fireball and hot boiling wax flying around. This does not only look awesome and is quite dangerous, but we can also learn something here. Should you ever have boiling wax at home, for example if you are making candles and you're heating the wax on the stove, you have to extinguish the fire with a cloth or something like that. Do never put water on it, because if you put water into boiling wax, you will get a huge explosion. So I hope you enjoyed those two experiments. Until next time, see you, bye bye.